Press go to GitHub and then click on your profile icon in the top right. Go to settings. Scroll down and click on developer settings. And here you will see personal access tokens. Click on this and click on fine grain tokens. Now you can also use th this token that is personal access token, but this is also, we will use the new one as this might be, or this will eventually be discontinued. So click on fine grain tokens and just click on generate new token into the token name. Let's call it my new token. You can have the description if you want. Click on expiration date and click on only selected repositories or public repositories or all repositories. So if you select all repositories, you will be able to push to and pull to and pull any repository that you own. I'll just click on selected repositories and let's select a repository. Okay, let's call this calculator tutorial, right? We'll clone this tutorial or let's clone crypto trading bot. So now this token that you will create will have access to this repository only. You can choose multiple repositories if you want, but I'll just choose this one for now. And now just click on generate token. And it will show a message that the token will be expired on 22 September or wherever, whichever date you've set it to. Now click on generate token. Once you have it, just click on copy. And now let's see how we can use it. Now open terminal or shell and then enter this command, git clone and then HTTPS double slash and then your username at the rate the new token. Okay, so if you are confused what the username is, just go back to GitHub and then go back to the repository and then click on this here and this is your username okay so we enter https double slash the username at the rate the token and then what was the repository name we want to clone uh, the repository name was pybot right go to that repository okay so once you are in the repository that you want to clone just copy this part everything after the forward slashes Copy this and open the terminal again. Okay, I think I made a mistake here. It's not at the rate here, it's username and then colon again and then token and now at the rate and then the repository URL. Now just hit enter and this repository is being cloned and you will not be asked for username and password. So as you can see, we have cloned the repository and if I go to my desktop or wherever I've cloned this, Okay, I have cloned this in desktop, right? So the repository here is here and it is cloned. So this is how you can create a, a token and clone using that token. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.